So today I am going to show you how to make the most softest, fluffiest, delicious rolls that you have ever tasted. They are so wonderful. And believe me, you will be the hit at your holiday dinner if you make these or you bring them to someone's house. They are fantastic. So I'm getting everything ready and we're gonna get started. Okay, so I'm gonna use my stand-up mixer. You don't have to, you can do it by hand. But after you've mixed everything, you'll have to knead it for like about 10 minutes. So that's why I'm gonna use the stand-up mixer with the dough hook. Okay, so let's get started on these yummy, yummy, yummy rolls. They're called clover rolls. Anyway, you want three tablespoons of warm water. If you can measure, I mean, um, do it by the temperature, it's about 110, just just warm, warm bath water. And then you wanna take a packet of um, yeast, and I'm just using this. And you put this in, and we're gonna stir this a little bit and set this aside for about five, five minutes until it gets foamy on the top. Okay, so you can see the yeast is getting all nice and frothy, I guess, foamy on top. And that's what you want. If yours does not do it, either your yeast is bad, your water was too cold, or it was too hot. And then you just have to throw this away and start all over. Okay, so to this, we're gonna add one cup of warm milk, which is basically just like the water, just like warm, um, bath water for a baby that kind of warmth there are 110 so we're going to stir this and we're going to put in our five tablespoons of butter and you're not looking for the butter to melt you just want to just put it in and kind of crunch it up a little bit and now we're going to add three tablespoons of sugar just mix this up and one teaspoon of salt and then one egg and you want it to be room temperature just kind of mix this up and we're going to add three and a half cups of flour so I'm just gonna add a little bit right now before I I put it on the stand-up mixer and then we're just going to slowly add it as it's mixing and you want to mix it on like a low we have like you know ours has the numbers so i'm going to do it on the number two and if you have just like low medium high just do it between low and medium so we're going to mix this okay so now on to the stand-up mixer, and I'm slowly going to just be adding the flour. Okay, it's been 10 minutes, so let's check the dough. See, when you touch it, it doesn't stick to your hand, and that's just what you want. Okay, so now... I'm just going to take take a bowl. You can use oil or you can spray your bowl. I just have some canola spray. So I'm just going to spray it like this. I'm going to put the dough in and cover it and let it rise until it doubles in size. And what I do is I turn on my oven on low prior and get it nice and kind of warm and then turn it off and then put the dough the dough um, in it all covered and it rises so much faster okay so when the dough is almost um, finishing rising I'm gonna just take some melted butter and a cupcake holder I'm just gonna put butter all in each one of these okay let's see and it is so nice so now we're going to take the dough out 
and it should come out all nice and clean in the bowl and we're going to just leave it like this you don't have to knead it at all and we're going to try and make this and don't worry that it's sticky that's just going to make them so nice we're going to make this into a rectangle and you want to put a little flour off to the side just to use for your hands to make the dough easier to work with when you cut it. Okay, so once you have your rectangle, I'm just going to use the scraper, put a little flour on it. It's going to go like this, make it the best I can on the rectangle shape. And we're going to cut this in half. And I am not good with measuring anything, but I'll do my best. You want to cut that in half. And then you cut this in half. Then you take these halves and you cut these in three. So you have all these little pieces. Then you take each one of these and we're gonna cut these into threes. You just take it and you go one, two, three, and you set these apart. And after they're all cut like that, you just take one of the little little cuts you just kind of fold them under like this and you just kind of roll them in your hand just make a nice little ball and you need three of them so you put that there grab another one just kind of tuck them under like this and then roll them kind of like that Then you take one like that, put the other one like that, put it like this, and you just put it right in the cupcake holder. And you just go around, you do it to all of them. And now, after this, we're going to let them rise, for, or rest, I should say rest, but they'll rise anyway for 30 minutes. Okay, so they're all in uh, the cupcake holders. So now I'm just going to cover them up and let them rest for 30 minutes. Okay, so the 30 minutes is almost up of them resting. So you want to preheat your oven to 425. And on four of them, I'm going to put some sesame just for a little variety and the everything bagel and then just the sea salt and here's just some melted butter that we're going to put on top of them and then we'll put whatever topping you like on yours okay it's been 30 minutes oh they look so good so now i'm just going to put some butter on them Okay, so I'm gonna put on some salt, and this butter is what makes the topping it here. Oh, hello, little Randy. Our little labradoodles up here, trying to see what I'm up to. And now I'm gonna put some of the everythinger. And some sesames. Okay, so my toppings are all on. Now, you don't have to, um, you know, put the everything or the sesame. You can just put the, the butter and the nice salt on it. So there they, they are, and they're going to go in the oven for about 15 minutes until they're nice and golden brown. Okay, these just came out of the oven, and they are 
beautiful. I absolutely love them. They're nice, they're golden brown. Can you just picture taking one of these? These are so hot, but I'm gonna show you the inside. Having one of these and dipping it, putting butter on it, dipping it in the gravy at Thanksgiving. Oh my gosh, and everybody will absolutely love them. That is so hot, I can't even touch it. But I do wanna tell you that after you uh, take these out of the oven, Put them on one of the wire racks. Otherwise, they're so hot that the steam will make them soggy underneath on the bottom. So you always want to take them out and let them cool on a rack. But I have to, I have to open these. Oh, let's see. Whoa, look at, and put butter on that. Oh, they are so soft. Look at them. They just bend. They are so soft, so delicious. Well, I wanna thank you so much for coming into my kitchen, ouch. And I hope that you will try these and either have them at your house, if you're going somewhere, bring them. And I hope that you'll try these. These are just the best. Everybody will love them. They will just devour them. We'll see you next time.